What is up my crafty friends? My name is Carrie and I want to welcome you back to my channel. Y'all, I've got a quick little review I want to do for you. I just picked up a laser that I got delivered here to my house. It's so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to unbox this thing and see what all it can do. So let's get started. Okay, y'all, the name of this is Alfero. That is the company and the model is going to be the LU2-4SF. It got here super quick. It came from Amazon and y'all, let's jump in and see what's all in the box and what all it's going to take to get this baby set up. Let's cut this box open and get started. The first thing that I notice as soon as I open up the box is all of the foam. Y'all, this thing is packaged so incredibly well. Each little piece of the laser has got its own compartment, and I really love that they thought to use the QR codes for you to pull up the instruction manual. I think that's our laser head. We've got some goggles. We've got our power cords. And then there's our laser. So let's just pull all of the foam off of this and get this puppy out of here. I'm so excited to get started on this. I can hardly stand it, y'all. I'm not even kidding when I tell you this thing is packaged incredibly, incredibly well. Okay, we're almost there. Ta-da! Look how cute it is! Looks like the company also included some materials to practice on, which is great. Because it came pre-assembled, all we had to do was to attach the little yellow wire and the white wire and put the laser head on, and y'all, that's it. And next, we're just going to screw in the little piece here. This is what's going to be our little focus tool. We're going to slide this onto the rail, and y'all, we're ready to get started. Look how easy that is. So that's going to be the focus. We're going to set the focus like that. And once we get it where we needed it to, we're just going to tighten it down. Okay, now that we've got it all unboxed and put together, wasn't that easy? I am super excited to jump in and see what this puppy can do. But safety first. Aren't these goggles so sexy? Do I look cute? Next, I'm going to plug in the power cord as well as the USB port. We're going to power this thing on, and y'all, we are off to the races. I did go ahead and mount my laser on a piece of scrap plywood, and I'm also going to use a piece of the cardboard as a template. The laser is compatible with Windows and Mac, and you can either use the free GRBL software, or you can use the Lightburn software to power the laser. I'm familiar with Lightburn, so that's what I'm going to be using today. So I'm just going to open up my light burn and because we're working on a 7.71 by 7.71 engraving area, I'm going to draw a 7 inch square and then I'm going to power up the laser to draw that square onto my cardboard so I know exactly where to put my materials. There was some thin pieces of wood for you to practice on, but I'm going to jump right in with my Arteza wood slices. These are roughly 3 inches in diameter, so I'm going to draw me a 3 inch circle. Next, I'm going to pick a pretty font and just type Merry Christmas. I'm going to make that the size I need it to be inside my circle. Next, I'm going to change that to a fill and change the power. They do give you a guide for power, which is good. So next we've got our circle. We're going to put our focus tool on top of our wood slice, tighten down that laser head. Next we're going to remove that focus tool and y'all, we are ready to start engraving. Isn't that fun? Y'all, it's not bad for my first try, but I do want it to be engraved just a little bit darker, so I'm going to repeat that process. As long as you don't move anything and you just hit start again, you'll be just fine. And now that second try is much better. Next, I want to use a scrap piece of leather to make some leather earrings. Aren't those cute? I did do this in two passes, and y'all, look how cute these little earrings are. I'm also going to try slate next. These are some slate tiles that I had picked up at Michael's, and y'all, I'm very, very impressed. Okay, I'm even going to get brave because I saw on their website that this could be done. It says you can do food. Oh my gosh, the possibilities. 
Okay, y'all, I have to admit, this little Arfuro laser had a lot more power than I expected it to. I wasn't expecting such great results with the slate or the leather. And the food was a totally unexpected option. Now, if you're going to use it for food, I highly suggest that you dedicate your laser just for food only and don't intermix and mingle those materials. Food should be only done for food. But y'all, isn't this such a fun little laser? I love that it came pre-assembled and it was super easy to use. Y'all, I'm really excited about the possibilities that this new Arfiro laser is going to give me. I'm even thinking about bringing this to my local farmer's market so I can engrave on keychains or any um, other little things that I can bring with me already cut out so that all I have to do is engrave on them. I think that's going to be a super fun thing to be able to offer my customers there. What would you do if you had one of these Arfiro lasers for your very own? If you want to check out the brand even more, I'll be sure to put a link to it down in the description box below. You can find more information on their official website or I'll put a link to the Amazon store below. The company has even agreed to give me a 10% off coupon for my subscribers and I really want to thank them for doing that. What would you do with one of these Alfero lasers if you had one for your very own? Let me know what you would make for your family and friends. Would you even consider starting your very own little side hustle business? I think you would do absolutely amazing with it. That's all we've got time for today, my friends. Until next time. Happy DIY, y'all.